Mm. Mm. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh my goodness. 43 minutes long? I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm interested. Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another reaction. This is probably going to be... Well, the next time BFB continues, the last BFB reaction. Yeah, so we we'll still continue to watch Teapot, and obviously the new and I'm an Insanity season, and I'm Insanity season 2. But this is going to be the last BFB reaction. So, bear with me here. It's like 43 minutes long. So, this video will probably come out either tomorrow or later tonight, which I apologize. Or it may come out sometime, I don't know, just time when it sucks. Uh, so, 43 minutes long, and I'm already seeing some something odd. For an example, oh, wait a minute. The Exeters are out. That's what I'm seeing right now. The Exeters are out. There's about, like, a bunch of ads, so I'm gonna have to be editing this. If you hear any background noises or people, I'm sorry. If I pause or there's a bunch of cutouts, it's probably because someone walked in. Because that's how it happened last time. But yeah, um, I'm really, really excited to get started with this. Because I've been waiting for so long. And it's about like 43 minutes long, so I, I can't wait. So, without further ado, I say we should go ahead and get started. Yo, Match! Check this out! Her Ta-da! Ew. And what's, like, that supposed to be, anyway? Uh, isn't it obvious? It's my favorite host, of course. Don't you mean, like, our favorite host? Apologies for that. Host? Look, look! Four's here! He's, like, here! Haha! <laughs> of course, little Matchy! It's time for the grand finale! I can never miss this! Where's my final two? Over here! You are the best host ever! Even better than Ice Cube could ever be as the host! Your obsession with Ice Cube confuses me, but I appreciate it nonetheless. And I have a much, much lower appreciation of Ice Cube, but I also agree you're probably better than her. Maybe everyone, let's all chant for his name. Four, 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 four. 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 Wow, haha. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support. Okay, I'm very confused. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear. I'm sorry if you can hear people in the background. They will not shut up. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Say, 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 he's been say, gone, gone for a while. I went to wait for his coming back. Uh -oh. Coming back? For what does this mean? No, nothing. It's nothing. Coming back? Come back for? Did you go somewhere for? Wait, you left? Where to? For what did it mean coming back? What happened? Like, tell us already! Don't leave us, like, in the dark! Uh, hello? Anybody home in there? Where did you go? Just let me stay! Let me stay in here forever! Flower, what a four did you just do? Uh, Flower, what a four did you just do? Nothing! I didn't think I did anything! What the- uh, Flower, what happened? What do we do? What the pedal was that? Uh, well, whatever it was, it seems to be over. That's past your mark. Let me stay in here forever and leave me alone. Yikes, we're sorry. Okay, we're sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> Looks like that's all over. Roll credits. Or we can keep the episode going or something, maybe. Let's go help right now! Yeah, that was my other idea. End the episode or uh, find help or whatever. Either works. Hello, Xy. You haven't moved in a good few. Wait, I think this watch is off by a couple of minutes. Okay, it's fixed. So you haven't moved in a couple of months, so I was wondering if you wanted to come join us in the TV studio or something. No, I'm all good. Staying right here, thanks. Why there? Why not where I am? Or maybe here. Or why not here? This is the exact spot where Ford descended into the desert, and I'm not leaving his side. 
did. Then I'll join you for a little bit. We sure are good friends. Well then, I uh, will be thankful. So yeah, thank you. My tone is angry because of fuller situation. My thank yous are genuine. So yeah, thank you so much. So, Bubble, the grand cake isn't so hideous this time. Is it? Oh, I don't know how to tell you this, but it might actually be worse. In denial, I suppose. Surprise, surprise. Guys, we came here as fast as we could. Something really big happened, you guys. So basically... True. And that big thing is that the final episode has begun. So let's begin. No, announcer, not that. We really... Shush. Okay, I'm sorry I'm silent. I'm trying to listen, but I'm also trying not to lose my crap because there's so much background noise and they will not shut up. It's quiet time for you. Let's begin. <laughs> Crowd watching us today. Woo! Thank you for inviting me! This is awesome! Wow, what a big crowd! Um. It seems I forgot to send out all the other invitations. Uh, oh no. Don't worry. One of me in the audience is better than 50 of some other randoms anyways. That's good to hear. Today's cake at stake will determine the winner of this entire season of BFB. That lucky munchkin will receive three prizes. The most for one contestant ever. Woo! Yay! Thank you, birthday cake. Speaking of cake, the first of the prizes is the grand cake. Uh, uh, I don't know. That was weird. It just kinda... looks a oh, little geez, cruddy. Uh, I don't know. I spent all day on it. I don't know. Just... I was expecting you guys to give a nicer reply after I said that. Whatever. The second prize is the BFB. Yeah, sick. And finally, the. The what? The sigh. The BFDI. <laughs> So, without further ado, I'm curious. Eliminated contestants, I wanna know your opinion on who you would want. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss Lacey if I'm not gonna see her for a really long, long time. Also, Lollipop Smirk is wonderful. I just, I, I'm gonna miss Lacey. To win the season of BFB. Me! My opinion is that it'd be pretty awesome if I could win BFB. But Blocky, you aren't one of the possible contenders. <laughs> yeah, I know that. So why did you think that would? But I just thought you wanted to know my opinion, so I thought I could fudge the rules and- Blocky. What? Stop talking. Back to reality now. Fiery space, just like, yeah, stop. <laughs> Who? Among flour and gelatin, do you want to win? Oh, oh, hmm. Gelatin? Why not? Ooh, a gelatin voter, eh? I want to be a contrarian, so I'll vote flower. Ooh, me too. You get it, fashion queen. Wait, but no. They're adorable. Oh, we're the majority opinion. May I change my answer? No, you may not. Gelatin got this. I always appreciate a guy who knows how to strut his style by impersonating my style and breaking the law and going to jail. <laughs> All right, we'll just move on from that, I guess. <laughs> you got this, gelatin. Sometimes one vote can mean everything. Oh, my bubble blower! Gelatin! Okay, if you can also hear my cat purring, I once again apologize for that. I know this isn't the best quality for, like, the finale, which is absolutely awful, and I'm sorry. But... There's nothing I can do. I live in a very loud house. Tins just gotta win! Talkster made a great point about one vote meaning everything. And that's why I'm voting Flower. Thought we were buddies, Blockster. Oh, right. Uh, gelatin it is then. Ha! <laughs> hey, just keep this between us, okay, announcer? But I'm really gonna lock my vote in for Flower. Blocky's vote is now locked in for Flower. I'm gonna vote my friend Flower too. Hopefully a vote from one winner to another. Flower! I've spent years and years with both of you, so it's hard to choose between you. Oh, that's so true. No, you haven't. Okay, I'm aware they have, but I, no, I, I don't accept them. Bro, profile these relationships with both of these finalists is so complex and dates back so far, it must be so hard for them to choose. But I'm feeling like a nature lover today. Good luck, gal. Hey, why do you get a vote? 
him if funny circle friend profile -y. if profile -y can vote i can too and i'm voting gelatin just to spite profile -y. well i'm voting for flower <gasps> lollipop why newbie alliance remember because i gave you my coloring and you you purposefully threw it away how could you he he didn't but you know okay so Jack and Jill, he's out here rooting more characters. I'm not surprised. Also, I'm sorry if you had to, to hear that, but like, I don't think Lollipop would act like this. So there's already some issues with this, but I don't hate this. Oh, Lollipop, no! I could never erase your masterpiece. It's actually way simpler than that. All that happened is I had a really painful, fiery death, and when I was respawned, I was just normal me again. Oh, so you just died. I thought it was something serious or upsetting. Okay, well, I vote gelatin. Yay! I vote flower, cause she's a plant. And also she voted for me last time. Gotta pay it forward. Thanks, plant buddy. Teardrop, are you- oh! That's so cute. That's adorable. <laughs> Going to vote. Uh. Thanks, Teetster. Really appreciate it. So it's all tied up. Seven to seven. Thanks for nothing. I guess it all comes down to the viewers after all. So finally, we are going to need a drum roll. Don't worry, I'll be of assistance! <laughs> <laughs> Eliminated contestants, oh make a good old drum roll for our current contestants. They deserve it. Wow, another insanely close vote. Good job, everyone. This is clearly just paper. I was trying to preserve your feelings by pretending it was closer than it was. Oh, uh, I see. Oh my god. You know, I actually wouldn't have mind who would have won, but uh... Yes, I'm glad Flower won. I know I'm not showing much emotion, but I, I'm not exactly home alone recording this. Oh my god. So, I'm trying to make motion, and I'm also not trying to be too loud, but I guarantee if I was home alone, then I would have screamed. Flower, you received 48,891 votes, out of a total of 77,131 votes. Congratulations, you win BFB, alongside the three prizes this Cake at Steak awards you with. Oh my meat factory. Well, I guess this makes me the runner-up. Congrats, Flower. Good game. You too, Jelly Man. Oh, uh, guys, the BFB screen thing. Magic. Uh, what's what? happening to it? Is this thing deep frying? What, what the? So. Oh my God, deep fried breast. No. Beautiful. Wait a minute. It's gonna be <laughs> what the Stop. Delish! Stop Whoa. Guys, I knew it was tasty, but with mustard? No competition, guys. No competition. Ew, now where'd I leave my ketchup? Stop putting condiments on the prize of the season. Flour, here is the grand cake. Feel free to put condiments on this prize for the season. Uh, thanks, I guess. Ew, and no. here's the BFB. I still can't believe this is happening. I won BFB. So like, really? What still not that? appreciative, huh, Flower? Oh, gosh. Not you, carrot cakes again. Just slap me and be on with it. Don't worry. Nothing like that today. I'm just here to deliver you your happy thought. What the? And the winner of BFB is Gelatin. Yes, I did it! Newbie Alliance, we did it, guys! It paid off! Congrats, Jello. We did it, buddy. And here's your BFB, of course. Yo, let's go! Congratulations on the win, Gelatin! You deserve it! Thanks so much, Flower. You were a great competitor. So, what was the happy thought, Flower? Well, you're my friend, so I can trust you, right? Sure, buddy. I. Why am I actually concerned with fiery here? I... I don't know why. It's either the writing or... I don't know. Fiery's acting really off. Like, really off. Again, it's either the writing or 
there's something up. I, I don't know. I don't know why I'm so concerned. That's just. Okay, I'm it. happy I won at all, but I think I would have also been happy if Gelatin won. Maybe it'd be cool if I shared a prize with him or something. I'm not gonna tell you what to do with your prize because it's yours, but I'll just say I had an opportunity to share my prize with someone close to me, and I made a mistake. Where at? Gosh darn it, Fiery. Right now, you have an opportunity, Flower. Hmm, thanks, Fiery. Oh. Second place ain't half bad, buddy. I, 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 I don't know what to say. I, oh my god. Fiery. What? I'm proud of you. Thank you. I forgot we were competing for a while. You what? For how long? Three years or so. Yo, Jellyhead! Hey, Flower. Congrats again on the win. I think in a lot of ways, you truly won, Gelatin. Huh? How so? Look at the alliance you made, Jello. I might have won the season, but you made a lot of close relationships. Nothing beats that. Yeah, I guess there is a victory in everything. Thanks, Flower. I also think you've earned this. W what? Flower, you, you won this, right, Lollipop? Flower won this, right? Okay, Flower, you won this. I wanted to win the show, Jello. I've done that. I think you deserve this, and you clearly won it. <laughs> this really means a lot to me. <laughs> okay, okay, Jack and Jill, you got me. Okay, okay. All right. Thanks so much, Flower. <laughs> that was so cool. All right, Jelly Boy, let's see how this BFB thing works anyway. Alrighty, do I just open it like a book? And... Uh, uh. Hey, whoa! It's episode one of the season, guys! It's literally BFB! And I can scrub along and... Guys, look! It's all our little moments throughout the season! Uh, why did my voice sound so weird back then? Look, Teaster, it's you! And OMG, I gotta check this out. Here it is! See? Pretty cool, right, folks? And I thought once was enough. Haha. <laughs> no, seriously, once was more than enough. Gelatin, take the hint. Once was enough. <laughs> alright, alright, I love Lollipop. I still love her. That, I just don't know what was going on with her character at the moment. Uh, maybe that was her character, and I'm just being dumb. <laughs> oh well. Sorry. This is pretty cool, though. Seems like 4 has somehow made this high-tech, deep-fried seasonal block that preserves all the video footage of this season. Fascinating. I wonder if he was involved in the making of that BFDI prize, too. Then... Excuse me? Beatbox. Sigh. Yes, Gelatin. Beatbox. But I wonder why 4 would go through so much effort to make these. Cause he's dumb? Yes, that is exactly correct. And I believe I'm owed one more prize, right, Speakery? Uh, yep. You win the, the, uh, eat the ikes. The, the BFDI. Come on, announcer, we went through enough to win this. Sigh. Fine. A competition is a competition. You've earned it. Here is the BFDI. Thank you. I, I, I give it. Announcer, give it. Oh, gelatin or flower having a BFDI? I don't think so. It's purple face. Oh, so this is the one purple face is a quote unquote villain. Uh, nice. Time! <laughs> was wondering when you were gonna, you know, do what you do. Makes sense. Purple face, get back here! That BFDI is not yours! Yeah, it's mine. Also not! Purple face, you're not taking off with that prize that easily. Guys, let's help Flower grab her prize after Purple Bro. <laughs> What's even his plan here? Looks like he's heading for the gold bus. <laughs> what? Um... Hey, guys! <laughs> the ultimate escape. I'll just hide the BFDI under this seat here and drive. Drive. <laughs> Now I'm swiftly away from all those annoying contestants. Uh, I was relaxing here. Will you tell anyone where I hit the BFDI? Is this gonna be a problem? I won't tell anyone if I can just relax here in peace. Sure thing! Then my lips are sealed. Quick, everyone! Or slowly. We're not exactly in a rush here. Uh, what? 
curses! You're somehow caught up quick! Too bad you'll never know where I hid the BFDI! <laughs> Purple face! Literally under the seat. You're under a chair at the back of the bus. You... You... <laughs> said you wouldn't tell anyone! Alright, 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 spongy, spongy, spongy. I don't usually like you, but I'll give you credit for that. That was funny. Up it, Goober! I said I wouldn't as long as I could relax in peace. And you broke that deal, dum dum. Hello once again, yellow friend. Still here, I see. This is the last episode. BFB means so much to him. I just know he'll come back. So anyway, can you explain this whole desert thing to me anyway? Where is he? He's right here on the ground. Pat, Pat. Okay, and you are right here. And... Four is just living in their own head right now. I've just been here watching all these weird beep. Wait, this is their head? Oh my the god. The episodes, they keep scripting out. Wait, what? See? He's making a season finale with pencil and bracelet right now. Well, that's good news at least. Close to the end of the season. This is the 43rd hypothetical season. I've watched them run through their head. Ah, uh, not as good then, is it? Say, how did I do in this season? Oh, uh, you're not exactly in this season. Not in it as in, uh, not in the final two? Because I came third? <laughs> I will take it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, third. Let's go with that. Why not? I suppose they're like escaping because they didn't feel wanted, huh? Like with the speakery host stuff. I mean, the whole pillory ruins too, I guess. Remember when four was in jail and the party stuff? No one cared. And everyone loving announcery for foundry must have. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to say this right now. I'm aware that they treated, they didn't treat four with much respect. But nor did four. Like, come on, really? This is why I'm not- I just- I can't, but I can't. I don't like Four, and I feel like this is kind of karma. Because he treated X horribly, he treated his contestants horribly. He had his moments, yes, but mostly they were just violence, annoying screeching, or I don't even know. Sorry if you're ranting there, but if you like Four, it's completely fine, but- it's been rough. I don't know. No one wants to be forgotten and brushed aside. I know that better than anyone. Wait! So you think Four would come back if we just showed him we care about him? Of course! I mean, that's why they left in the first place. Yeah, you care about him, but he didn't care about you. Right? What we need to do is give Four a big, big hug! Don't do that. Ah, someone help me! Guys, whatever you do, don't hug the cactus! It's deadly! I'm serious! <gasps> Let's ignore that last moment. But maybe if I try hugging the ground, huh? Yeah, anyway, thank you, Profiley! I have to go! Oh, so I guess I'll, uh, just stay here then. <laughs> Profiley and four time! <laughs> hmm? Hey, four. Can you hear me? Wake up! Four! Little four, it's time to wake up now! Wow! I'm so glad I won the prize! This, uh, this thing, it's really good! You're very welcome! We've done so much! Okay, four is clearly going insane. Uh, which again, I don't agree with. Uh, calm down. But I guess at the same time, they've always had this? I don't know, four's always seemed to have a really ambitious personality, of course. I mean, obviously. So he probably has anger issues, and, well, more, because he certainly didn't treat X right. These seasons, we were running out of prizes, but thankfully, that one is really good. That's what I just said. Hmm? Hey, Four, can you hear me? Wake up! Four! Little Four, it's time to wake up now! What's, uh, what's going on out there? And who was that? Have you tried waking up? Uh, wake up? Uh, I don't want to, though. We don't need him, Four! You can stay here forever! We all like you at least- Hold up. Is is this actually his head, or are the Exeters out? I- I don't think the Exeters are out, because Pencil doesn't act like this. No, Pencil doesn't like Four. Pencil doesn't like four. Uh, four, you're clearly going insane. Why did you emphasize we? Who doesn't like me? Oh, like four. You know the answer to that. Ha 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 ha. Everyone except us. But don't worry, four. I don't have a favorite number, but uh, I yep, do. All right, yeah, yeah, that, 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 
These aren't the Exeters. You have a bad. favorite host, you. Oh, man, I made you guys off, didn't I? None of this is even real, is it? Great detective work, buddy. Did that take you all day? So even the fake version of you that I made up in my head still behaves like this, huh? <laughs> even like your fake friends inside your own head hate you. Yeah. And it doesn't even stop here. Everyone up there hates me too. Don't say that. They rejected me. They liked their little speaker box. Well, then they can have him. I get it, guys. I'll never be as good. But then why won't they leave you alone? Very good question, Match. I'm you. I'm a figment of your imagination, remember? Ah, uh, yes, I got that. I'm just, like, pointing out that you just, like, complimented yourself on your own idea. Yikes. Okay, this conversation derailed rather quickly. Regardless, they all pushed me away, and now they won't leave me alone. Well, you know what I say to that imaginary eight ball? They don't get to have me back. They can keep the weird speaker box forever. They won't even care. Okay, I thought in the background the music right now was literal screaming. Like, insanity screaming. Also, oh god, I paused it. And you wonder why what they the? all rejected you. Huh? This is not my fault! Seriously? You kill people for fun, and you torture us with eternal math! Exactly! Get angry if we don't do it! Not to mention all the guilt tripping and over-possessiveness. Stop talking! <gasps> yes? Yes? I don't need you imaginary folks anyway! In fact, I don't need any of you, real or not! <laughs> Guys! Play Play Yikes. Also, the four denying everything is definitely four. Like, four won't admit that he's a terrible person. He's been a terrible person. Uh... Okay, this isn't that bad now. Please, can you all help me? Whatever you need, little X. Don't I still need to avenge you for something or whatever? Never mind that. Help me with this and we'll consider the score even. I need you all to help me save four. Save four? No. What if he pulls my fingers again? And when he did pull your finger, there was no punchline. It also really hurt me. Yeah, but the worst part was that there was no pull my finger punchline. You Sorry, Roy. did I do a no-no again? <laughs> that was my favorite. On us to save four? I mean, four wouldn't save us. You all chose to partake in four's show. Please, just help me get him back. If not for him, then for me. Please. Please. X never steered us wrong, guys. Come on. So what do you need, pal? Just follow me and bring the BFB. You got it. Hop, hop, hop. La la la, building sand castles, minding my own. Why are you building sand castles on four? Good lord, Profiley is such an odd character. Business and singing to myself like the legend that I am. Yeah. Wait just one second. My sand castles are good, but I don't remember building that one, am I right, folks? <laughs> Close your mouth and leave me alone! Huh, you know, it's kinda weird. All this fort talk, and now it feels like I'm seeing him everywhere I look. Spongy said the BFDI is under the seat! Quick, let's grab it! No, 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 no! This is my BFDI, now and forever! Why are you doing this, Purple Breath? I understand the feeling of wanting to steal something, but why the BFDI, Purple Man? You know, I kind of wish he was more descriptive into that, considering this literally caused her trauma. But whatever. Oh, <laughs> you want to know the truth behind my evil schemes, huh? Well, remember back in the final 14, where if you move the camera to the right, Profiley was there? Well, if you move the camera to the left, Announcer was there. But if you move the camera up, I was there all along. Ah, yes, I am evil, and I have evil big wings. This joke is annoying. It's too. <laughs> Actual answer right now. Because not a dang fiery snapped. I like you it. respect me.
I was furious when I was sent away to the pillory ruins at first, but now I realize that's the best fate for me. Alone and forgotten. But at least I'll be in peace. Profiley! What just happened over here? Sounded like Four was heading back to the pillory ruins, folks. Ooh! I know how to get there super fast! Free smart Superman! The free smart Superman! Oh no! Yeah. I thought this thing got wrecked. Well, it's been a while, Lolly. I fixed it. That's... that's great! Nice thinking, Ruby! You're so smart! Uh, Lollipops still has memories of Ruby and Leafy's constant scening. That's funny. Fires. I, know. I know! Now, everyone get in! Is there a radio on this thing? That's broken! But luckily, I have my voice box! Ruby, don't you dare! <laughs> You guys don't thank me for my TV idea! I keep being refused hosting stuff! I, I, I bet you guys wish I was back in my box, don't you? A little bit. Purple Man, I think your contributions have been great! Yeah! Remember the sweater I gave you? The Earth took a major toll for that piece of art, that's for sure! Hmm, true. Don't give me the BFDI right this the second! No! 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 Wow. Oh. no. I need something for my hard work! Back where it belongs, it's my show. It belongs to me. Well, I won the first season. I deserve it the most. Well, I want to re- Oh my god. Fiery, cut it out. I get it. You lost your prize on the first one. But this is Flower's prize. Quit being greedy. Also talk about what Watch the barf bag contest. Clearly my motivation is best, so I deserve it. No. I already let Fiery lose one prize! I won't let him lose another! <laughs> Leafy... Leafy... Oh my god... Okay, so the fact that she doesn't want the prize, but she wants Fiery to have it... Is a sign of desperation, even though it, they're... They don't show it too much, but I can see it. Now my fighting, or else no one keeps it! We deserve it! I've been eliminated four times! VFDI stands for my very own show! Think it's mine, guys! Hand it over! It's mine. We have. I know they are not. Is this the evil forest? Oh my god, I've seen oh my four god. since the desert. The lack of four sightings is alarming. Maybe we should turn around? Luckily, we have a very special smart friend for this type of stuff. Droplet, do you notice anything unusual nearby that could relate to four? Just leave me alone already! Oh, oh my god. Great work, gang! This is... Oh my god, they're heading straight for the evil forest. Oh my god. To oh him! Oh my god. What the? What just happened? The world went sideways, duh. Clearly someone didn't take Gelatin's Earth class. I think the bus is dangling from something. You didn't stop the bus, Purple Bro! It drives by itself! Once I got it started, you all distracted me! This is all your fault, not mine at all! Guys, okay, everybody just calm down. Just hand me the BFDI, and then we can no. just all be done with all of this. Cut it out! What has gotten into all of you? The BFDI is cool, but this is so reckless and ridiculous. Everyone, get off of this bus before we all die. Nothing is worth this type of nonsense. All right, gang, we're gonna need to climb up out of here. Quickly, everyone. Uh, where's Flower, guys? And Purpley Boy. And the speaker box. Don't tell me they all stayed on that bus. The BFDI is still in there, too. <laughs> I need it! I've worked so hard for it this season! As have I! I need it more than anyone! BFDI is literally mine. I deserve this. Pretty please. But I want it! I haven't been paid all season! This is payment enough for me! I waited for years to return for this. Don't let it go to waste. Oh, why is it so important, Spakerface? Just get another copy! That's exactly it. This is the only remaining copy of the entire show. 
Oh. We can see you for... Not a great disguise, buddy. Curses! I can't believe he's protesting... His, his disguise sucks. This much? BFB means so, so much to him! Really? Wait, at this point, are they gonna get to Goiki? Can I see two again, please? Please? Why? Oh, well, back in the day, BFDI was his favorite show. Okay. <gasps> I knew it. Wait, really? So wait, none of it is preserved? Like, at all? Some clips exist on the internet, but this is the last existing archive of the whole show. It's my life's work. I need it. Wanna talk about life's work? My entire life's work was starring in one yellow face commercial. Then I was boxed away, and then I did a variety hour. I've only done enough things to fit on one hand. They, the hand gag is mine. You're not giving yourself enough credit, Purple Bro. You hosted a cake at steak and explored an oven with us. Sometimes you can tell you aren't welcome if people questioned why you're around, but I don't think anyone did that with you. We got used to seeing you around, and if anything, it was nice to have a host around that we knew wouldn't blast a laser at us every three seconds. Truly, you've been integral to BFB, Purpley. We really like you being here with us. Wow. Thank you, Flower. Oh God, it's, gonna fall. it's the High Speed Express train. Thanks, Super Van. You've done a great job. Fantastic use of the van, Ruby. It's great, this thing. Oh my god, the way Lollipop is sitting. Yeah, she's a lesbian. Is back in action. All right, guys, let's all board the express train. If it, we if it wasn't already obvious, Lollipop is definitely a lesbian. <laughs> Before, back to the pillory ruins. Wow, that chain does look fast. Thanks for the idea, Lollyhead. <laughs> Leave me alone, folks! Choo choo! Maybe we shouldn't have announced our plans. I feel conflicted. On the one hand, I find Four's presence very scary and alarming, but then he goes and says choo choo! Which must be like the least threatening phrase ever. You know what I mean? Choo choo! Think again, balloon buddy! <laughs> Luckily, we have a backup. The steam train is still here. Excellent idea, my friend. Everyone, get on. Okay, okay, maybe I'm being selfish by wanting the BFDI so badly. Maybe, yeah, this, yeah, maybe. Kind of wish Luffy and, Pro and Purple Face had a moment for you because this again gave her trauma and I feel like she would understand more deeply. But that's just- You have an interesting definition of the word maybe. Flower, you earned it. Thanks for making me realize I'm not just a dumb cameo in a commercial. You know, you Flower, are. you really changed. I'm heading out. So you folks outside. Well, it's just no, no, us no, no, now. No, I guess we can later. argue and argue over who gets it, but maybe that's not fair. You did win it. Nah, I don't want it anymore. What Purple Face just said, that's worth the win in itself. Keep the BFDI. Are you for real? You're not even gonna let her have her prize. Ugh. Buddy, let's get out of this death trap. I decided that the BFDI belongs to our speakery pal here. Anyway, glad that's settled. I guess every finale has something wild in it, but it's all settled now. Agree. Thank goodness there's not some other, even bigger conflict going on. That would be lame. So, is it just me that notices the desert is no longer blue? Ha, <sighs> we're not quite finished, are we? So, what? Four was a big fan of BFDI, you said? Yeah, I mean, we definitely have free time. Wanna explain that? Four wasn't just a big fan. Four was the biggest fan. Bigger than you can possibly imagine. He'd sit and memorize BFDI episodes. He was in love with it. Still watching that BFBDFI show thing, are you? Uh-huh. Oh, sh this is my favorite scene of this episode. Let's take some time to commemorate Blocky's elimination. No, let's not do that. I, I agree, let's, let's not. not. Uh, One day. He just quoted something Leafy said, that's kind of cool. people are gonna be quoting me. I'm gonna be on that show. Really, for? The world's gonna know my name. I'll be the favorite. I'll be the favorite. Once the second season finished, Four compiled all of his recordings of the episodes into a block, creating the BFDI.
And I think that might be the only preservation of the first two seasons left. Wow, he was such a huge super fan, and he got his chance to host a sh- Okay, yeah, he was a super, super fan, but I think you're missing the point that he... Yeah, he acted very ambitious. But I mean, X never said anything about that, but like... Oh, his ambition is just- No like, end. Yeah. We all rejected him. I just want to point out, though, Four was kind of mean to us. That's true, too. Maybe we were- that's the one time I'll ever agree with you, Bubble. He was still horrible. Let's not forget that. Place. All a little mean here. Yeah, that's cool, but still she didn't murder But him. we have time to fix any damage. Let's save our favorite alien friend. Hey! That one of our favorite alien friends. Hooray, let's do it. Hello, we're back. Oh, why, hello. So, what happened? Well, you guys all left, but then you came back. Did you somehow think we were asking you about what happened to us? What happened to everyone else? Oh! Four became conscious again and fled to the pillory ruins! I think. What? Guys, we need to go help right now! Uh... <laughs> we had to help! They've got it covered, I'm sure they'll know what to do. So what are you suggesting we do in the meantime? Nothing. Actually, I had a better idea! I'm gonna need help setting something up, folks. Where could he be? I really thought this would be the landmark in the pillory ruins he would come to. Sorry, guys. I know one final place he might be, and I know it all too well. Yup, guys, I found him. Where, Balloony? Right up there. Uh. Teardrop, you know how to just run up this thing, right? Then take it away, Tearster. You got this, buddy. Everyone, hold hands and hold on tight. We're heading up to the BRB. I asked you to leave me alone. You didn't listen. I asked to be here in the ruins by myself. And you didn't listen. There's only one place I can think of more lonely and empty than this place. And you've all pushed me to this. <sighs> What on 4's BRB is going on up there? I think he might be propelling on the BRB is oh, lifting oh. guns! Ah, we're flying! This is not a happy occasion, Ruby! Ah, we're flying! Ah. Oh my goodness. I wonder how the saving four stuff is going. About as well as I expected so far. Fiery's <laughs> face. He's just like, what the heck? Oh, hey, two. You're more powerful than four, right? Can't you do something about this? One thing? I don't know where you heard that, but anyways, I'd rather stay out of this. But the sun is blue! And I'm green! Talk to us, Four. I demand it. Four! Time to chat now, buddy! Four, four, four! Four, 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 four! Can't avoid your best mate, Ruby, for long, Four. It's time to chit-chat. Please, why won't you all just leave me alone? You don't want me as your host. I get it. Whatever. I moved on. Oh, why won't you? Because we're mad, okay? We're mad at you for You come in and make us compete for these prizes and you hurt us and you're mean to us. And then we all choose to still compete for your prize and you continue to hurt us and I don't know, the, the pulling our fingers so we feel pain for your own benefit? Or like killing us or doing that weird thing where you spin us into weird shapes and you put all of us in cages for months? We like you for. That's why we say- Gelatin! Thank you! Oh my god, thank you. But you can't expect us to remain fully committed when you don't even treat us nicely. Exactly. Maybe... Maybe I was too harsh there. I just... No, you're right. I'm sorry. Thank you. And for what it's worth for, we're sorry too. We obviously enjoyed your hosting this season. People don't compete for 30 episodes for something they actively dislike. Sure, some people did move on, but what matters is that we stayed. We were here for you, buddy. Yeah, we've had a great time being in your season, four. 
And we got cool sweaters and did weird different challenges like building a tower and stuff. And to be fair, while the BRB was rough, we did get tablets and stuff to use in those cages. It's been so fun. If only there was some way to show you how we've had fun. Flawless segue, loser. But regardless, we can show you how much fun we had for it with the BFB. Let's party time. Oh, no, 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 You're a true blue friend. I'm not blue. We <laughs> 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 saw that. I, I'm not tearing up. I'm not tearing up. Yay! No, we're climbing a mountain. <laughs> It's been a really fun season four. Thanks for hosting it. Not tearing up. You're welcome, Chilliton. Thanks for being such a great player. You're a true winner in my eyes. Congratulations on winning, by the way. <laughs> Flower one. Oh dear, I had a lot of money riding on that. Oh no, this is really like bad news, guys. Maybe you can discuss this later. Four! You're back! It's great to see you. You're a true yellow friend. That's me! Kind of wish you apologized, Tex, but like, what? Can we leave the sun now? Three times here is overkill for one lifetime. Also, I'm melting again. Sure thing. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah! You guys did it! Yeah, and we couldn't have done it without the BFB flower. Thanks again. No worries, Jello. We should have been teaming up together for a long time. Seems like it's a good combination. Very true, my friend. Hey, announcer. Thanks for taking care of the end of the season. Well, it is mine. I know. It's your show. And I'm sorry I took it from you. I understand. And without you, we probably wouldn't have made another season. And I wouldn't have had the original seasons backed up either. So, I don't know. I guess you're cool. He sure is, speaker friend! Uh, no, you're gonna thank me for hosting episode 29 all by myself too, fool! <gasps> you did? He did. He actually saved the series. I, uh, nearly got it cancelled. Sorry about that. Well then, I owe a big thank you to you, Purpley Head. You really outdid yourself. <laughs> Yay! Also, not to break the celebration, but while those folks were saving you, we were working on something a little cool. Oh gosh, what is it? Your very own party for! <laughs> I know we didn't come through for you a couple of rounds ago, but I hope this makes up for it. Everyone, thank you so much! It's perfect! I mean, it was a group effort, but a lot of this was Profiley's doing. It was truly their idea. You like it! Yay, yay, yay! Wow, then... Okay, I don't like Profiley still, so but that's good. Thank you, Profiley! Clearly, it was the right decision to let you join the game! Correction, I was always in the game. Well, I don't know about that. Well, I was, so conversation over. Hey. Anyway, I really appreciate it, Profiley. Thank you so much. So we all had a fantastic party to finish the season. We played games and ate food. <gasps> Did Leafy make up with Bubble? Oh my god. Leafy looks, it looks like they made up with Bubble. And Fiery? Fiery's pogging. Look at that. Fiery's like, oh my god, they made up. Oh, Dude, just got to hang out without the stress of a competition holding us down. Hey, Bub, Ruby. What's up? Wanna help me eat this grand cake? Yoy! Arr, 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 arr. It must be nice for Flower and Gelatin to actually, like, use their prizes, huh? Ha, <laughs> well, Dream Island is all in the past anyway. Onwards and upwards. Hey, why don't we just find a new one? What do you mean? We don't have Dream Island right now, but, like, we can always find a new island and make it our Dream Island. You, you want to do that? Because that sounds awesome. We have a lot of lost time to catch up on, Fireman. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> and... Oh, just got to relax and have fun for a while. And while some things stay the same, some really cool new opportunities opened up too. 
And while some of us were relaxed and took time off, some of us were keen to think ahead to the future. But really, any past seems like the right one to me, as long as I'm with my best friends. Anyway, so that's the comic I wrote, inspired by Teardrops comics. What do you reckon she'll think of it? Oh, I'm sure she'll love it! Has anyone actually seen Teardrop? She's been missing for like a day now. Hmm, well, I'm sure we'll see her again sooner than we think. All right, we got everything, Fireball! You guys sure this is gonna be safe? Surely, I guess just try recovering us every now and then, in case, you know. <laughs> Good luck, guys! I hope you find the dream island you're looking for! Thanks, Brendo! We'll miss you, Flower! Congrats on winning, girl! You deserved it! We'll see you soon! Bye, guys! I'll I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Miss you! Flower, there you are! Blocky and Woody need new guests for their show! I thought you'd be an awesome partner! Wanna go together? That sounds awesome! I really did win, didn't I? Wait up, gelatin! Wait for me! Oh my gosh, you guys, that was the end of a crazy episode. But not only is it the end of a crazy episode, it's the end of the whole season, because that was the finale of BFB. We saw the journey of two Algebraelians for an X as they hosted a show for three and a half years straight. Thank you for joining me, X. And thank you for running the show and leading me. Oh, we got the dog to start barking. But now it's time to bring this chapter to a close because we're passing the torch onto our friend Adam Katz. He is starting the third season of his awesome object show, Inanimate Insanity Season 3. One, two, three, go! I promise I'm not, I'm not crying. That, oh my god. <laughs> Since this season is coming to a close, we're gonna take a little break just to focus on other parts of our life. But if you really wanna know what's up, you can check out the Jack and Jelvy TikTok where we have been posting daily for 11 months. Yes. We might also still be uploading casual videos to this channel whenever we feel like it, but there just won't be a dedicated schedule until we have some other big project coming. But if you wanna see what the characters are still up to in the future, of course, Teapot 2 is still happening. So be sure to stay tuned for that. We'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back. Don't worry about us. One more thing is we would not be able to do any of this without the crew. The so crew. thank you to the BFB crew for just sticking with us this entire year, just making all of this possible. I'm sure Thorin X will be back in future videos of some sort or another. We just don't know when yet. So if you want to know what they're up to in future projects, subscribe to Jack and Jellify. Thanks for watching. Thank you. So, Fiery, the first word oh of the God. season was, hey. Yeah? So I thought it'd be cool if we made the last word the same too, right? Chill. Hey! Why are you saying hey? We're already talking. No, I'm saying hey, like, so it's the last word of the season. Hey! Yo, what's up? You're not following me. Just be quiet. Hey! I'm getting mixed signals. You want me to be quiet, but you also say hey? Just, okay, the last word of the season has to be hey, okay? Sure. Hey. Hey. Yes! We did it! Oh, I kept talking. Darn. Rookie mistake, I see. Hey! Yo. No, oh. say hey. Hey. But like, after I say it. Hey. hey. I was midway through speaking. How about this? On the count of three, we both say hey. Okay? Three. Hey? That was my bad. I meant to count down, but okay, <laughs> let's try again. One, two. Hey, I need to borrow this. Thanks. Hey! hey. What the? Wait. What the? What the? Hold up. Okay. Um. That ending literally almost made me cry. I mean, you obviously heard my voice. I. Oh my god. I can't believe Fiery and Leafy really just went off by themselves to find Dream Island. Try again.
I... Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I'm... I'm getting emotional here. Um... These two have, uh... Always been... If a... Big... Comforts for me. So... <laughs> that ending pretty much got me. I know I was pretty negative in this episode. And I apologize. But... There's just a few things I had trouble with, but other than that, I really... Oh my god. <laughs> I really did enjoy this season. VFB has, believe it or not, has done a lot for me. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting emotional. You can hear my voice. Uh, is that ending? I I know they're fictional characters, but I really hope they have a good time. I really hope these. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the ending here, but I really do hope that these uh these two find your island. And they are happy. They are happy with everything. So, yes, I'm going to continue, like, reacting to Teapot in the third season of Finab Insanity, but, uh, this means a lot. The ending really killed me. These two are so adorable. It's like... It's like when a couple wants to leave their family and stuff and start their own life, which is very sweet. And then at the end, we see Flower and Gelatin both sharing the prize and just... They're all happy. They're just... I love it. So, I don't know if IDFB will continue. They never gave clear signs, but Jack and Jelfie always finds a way to surprise us because none of us were expecting default, let's be honest here. None of us were. So, all I have to say is thank you so much. It's, it's been a really, really nice trip with you guys. I, crap, I'm getting emotional again. I just, I'm going to miss them. They were, I'm going to miss them, but I know the fictional characters, and they're going to live their life now, just fire me be starting their own life. Really hit me. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Really, it means a lot. Uh, I'm gonna miss this, but even though the fictional characters, I know they are happy now. And oh my god, Fire and Leafy, why did you kill me at the end? Oh my god. <laughs> so you guys can consider them friends or a couple. Either way, I see them as more, because the fact that they want to start their lives together is, the fact they want to continue their lives together is just, oh my god, oh my god, Jack and Jill, do you win, oh my god, <laughs> it's just so much. Apologies for getting emotional, so all I have to say is that yes, I did have a few issues with episodes, but I don't hate them. And in fact, it was really nice to see them all <laughs> Teapot means a lot, and I can't wait to see more of it, but oh my god. Here's the thing. 
I I'm not perfectly sure if they will continue at AFB. I kind of wish they did so I could see more of these characters, so I could see Fire and Leafy again. I could see that. But they probably won't, which is alright. But if they do continue at AFB, I would love to see how they just start their lives, their brand new lives. I would like to see if Fiery and Leafy really did find Dream Island, even though they literally lost the propeller so far, so they're stuck in sea now. Also, that ending kind of gave off a chill to me. Like, that didn't sound good. Like, like, hold up. One, two! Hey, I need to borrow this! Thanks! Hey! <laughs> Like, I, that doesn't sound, that doesn't sound good. That, that doesn't sound good. Uh, yeah. So I'm not sure if anything's happening. Jack and Jellyfee knows how to surprise us, but they said they don't have any plans. Which is understandable. Good lord, I'm getting way too emotional. But, yes, thank you guys so much for everything. I, I wouldn't be here without you guys. I... I remember one day when I thought, hey, what if I just recorded myself? What if I just showed people how I really felt? What if I just let people see what how I act and myself? And I here I am with 6,000 subscribers. I, I can't. I just... Oh my god, you guys. You guys are really making me. <laughs> you guys are really making me emotional here. I I don't know if I'll do something for these six thousand subscribers because unfortunately I am busy and I don't have a lot of motivation. But I I remember myself looking at YouTube videos and wanting to do this. I... Oh my god. <laughs> and my very first video, I was very proud of it. Showed my parents and everything. And when everything went down, I can't believe a couple of strangers on the internet <laughs> were really able to fix that. I know, I know the internet can be a dangerous place, but it has definitely, it has made, it has made a big part of my life. It has, it has made a very big part of my life, and I cannot thank you guys enough. It's just, oh my god. I remember when the channel started to go down, if things were, they were starting, my views were not as great as they were before, and my young self thought that this was it, and my channel was dying, but now I don't mind, guys. I'm going to continue everything. I'm going to continue what I love, because this is my passion, and... Seeing you guys laugh about how I scream, how how you always love my reactions. You have no idea how much that means to me. Even if a couple of strangers on the internet are able to make me this emotional. And that's okay. I'll accept that. I... I seriously cannot thank you guys enough. I thank you for everything. I I didn't mean to get emotional. I'm very sorry about that. But I just I kind of just broke. <laughs> so yes, I will be continuing making reactions for you lovely people. And if IDFB continues. Which I hope it does, but it probably won't. You know I won't be reacting to that. I I would really love to see how they've adapted to their new lives. No longer competing, but... 
is how they are. What challenges are they gonna face? What's fire, will Fiery and Lethe make it to Dream Island? Will they really start their own life? It just starts with many questions. And I sometimes wish we could get the answers. But not all the time will we get the answers to everything. Sometimes shows end and they don't con continue. They don't continue with another season. But they did say season finale, not series finale. So, I don't know if they will continue. I don't know if IDFB will continue. They said it would, but, you know, they could have changed the plans. And they're going to adapt to their own lives now. Which is amazing. It's, it's amazing to think that 12-year-olds could really make me cry. <laughs> could really make a story. For the past 10, no, I'm not sure how many you've been, maybe 11, either way, they've really found a way to help me. It's just, it means a lot. It really does. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this finale, because even though I made a few negative comments, I really enjoyed this. I really did. The ending is what completely struck me. And I hope you all will be ready for another reaction soon. I have some plans for the reactions. I plan on animating again, but that could change because of my lack of motivation. I'm not as active as I was when I was young. A little younger than this. Things have happened. And, well, it's just life, you know? <sighs> so, yeah. I know I keep saying this, but thank you guys once more. I, I wouldn't be here without you guys. I wouldn't be here if I hadn't, if I was so ecstatic about 34 subscribers, and then a hundred. And then a thousand. And here I am, with 6,000 subscribers. I just cannot thank you all enough. So yes. I am going to rest now. And honestly just hope for the best for all of these fictional characters. And I honestly hope Fire and Leafy make it to their dream island and they live their life. As a couple or friends. It doesn't matter. I've said this. In my on my Instagram that I complained a little about the lack of well potential they these two had the lack of writing and rushness it just was a little rushed but even so even though this was rushed their friendship was rushed they they clearly still cared about each other and their chemistry couldn't be any better I know it's stupid to get emotional over two characters in a ship, but these two literally mean so much to me. Oh my god. I just... I hope these two are happy. I hope they make it, because X sold a brother. And, well, if they don't make it, they'll get recovered. And they'll try again. They'll try till they find it to the very end. Because these two have been through a lot. They've been through a lot of trauma. A lot of pain. But now, they're going to start their lives. They're going to start their new lives together. And that is a friendship or relationship that can't be broken. I know that sounded cheesy, but it's true. Anyways, thank you, BFB. Thank you, Jack and Jellyby. And uh, just thank you all. Thank you for all the friends that I've met. They've done so much. Thank you for the lovely comments. 
And thank you for all my comforts and characters, even Leafy. I will miss her. I really will. I will miss both of them. But I know they are happier. I know they will find their path. They will find their light. Together. Thank you for watching. Because this was the finale of BFB.